hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a couple days, but I'm back. <laughs> so I wanted to do a quick video um, in the car, running errands with my mom, then I have to go back to the family biz, and I have to do liquor inventory before I leave for Florida today. Lots going on, flight is at 3.30 and I finished packing this morning, then I have to do liquor inventory. I also have to do payroll later in the week for the business. Um, lots going on while I'm away, things I need to do before I go. So that's kind of what I'm spending my morning doing, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to let you guys know of some really cool things coming up. Super excited about it all. Florida. It is so nice out. Buffalo for the past couple of weeks has been like extremely rainy and cold and very rainy. Um, so being in the sunshine again is pretty nice. And I wanted to, you know, share some fun news with you guys. If you don't follow Steve Bartlett and his Everyday Steve vlog, you have to because this shirt right here it's in my dna i sent him one i also sent gary one and i also sent casey neistat one and steve was one of the first people who reached out to me after my gary v call because i mentioned hey there's this guy in london and then gary cuts me off I was basically talking about Steve. So someone in Steve's office heard the Gary Vee chat, thought it might be Steve. So Steve's like, hmm, I wonder if it is. And contacted me through Instagram DM. And I'm like, oh my God, I was talking about you. That's crazy. Fun fact though, he's actually from Manchester. He's not in London. So that guy in London is actually this guy in Manchester, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But I sent him this shirt. It's in my DNA. And if you watch one of his latest vlogs, I think it is vlog... 83 Steven will have to check on that I think it's vlog 83 but he got my package and he unwrapped it and he loved it and it was the right color and it was the right size so I'm really excited DNA apparel I know who this is from the little letter here this is a lovely girl her Instagram is my fabulous journey her name is Taylor Clark and some of you guys will remember I spoke to Taylor um, not too long ago about her business. We had a really good conversation. She's a really, really funny girl. I'm actually following it, her Instagram still. Show them the conversation I had with um, Taylor on the phone, just a couple of seconds. Hello? Hey Taylor, it's Steve. Um, because I actually have followed you, I found your TED Talk, and since then I saw subscribe to your YouTube channel, and I found it really helpful. And you, bro. See you later. See you have a good weekend. Uh, See you later, mate. Okay. See you later, bro. See, I was really, really concerned this wasn't going to be black. I was really, really concerned because I want to wear it. <laughs> this is cool. It's my size as well. That's amazing. We will put a link to Digital Nomad Apparel in the, in the, in the description of the video. Thank you so much, Taylor. Really, really appreciate it. And I'm going to watch you and you're killing it. So keep up the good work and, and hopefully we can connect again soon. Now that you've seen the clip, if you want one, you can go to www.digitalnomadapparel.com. Steve, if you want to put that down there, Steven. Recap. Okay, rewind. So I wanted to kind of share with you guys what I had on my Instagram stories a couple of days ago because a lot of you have been messaging me back saying how helpful it was to you and how you wanted to know how I started my apparel business, business. Um, and all that stuff. So I kind of want to share it on my vlog, on my YouTube channel, and have it recorded and saved for anyone who wants to know how to start their own apparel brand business with like only a couple hundred bucks, maybe even less. So what I did was, first of all, I got an e-commerce store website. So I personally use Shopify. It was extremely easy. You don't have to have any website knowledge at all. So what I did was I went onto Shopify, started a store, I purchased my domain name, which I think cost me like 15 bucks on GoDaddy.com. Um, so I purchased DigitalNomadApparel.com first. And then, yeah, start up the store, pick a theme, and then you basically just customize it however you want, which is how I started my website. Um, after that, I needed to figure out how I was going to produce my shirts. And one thing that I didn't want to do was have to spend a lot of money, order stock, 
and have inventory where I have assets just sitting there with the possibility of, oh crap, what if it doesn't sell? So I was told about this website called printful.com, P-R-I-N-T-F-U-L.com. And basically the amazing thing about Printful is if you are a designer or you want to be a graphic designer and tell what's going to be put on the shirts, you basically can make your designs. I personally make everything on Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator, or I'll sometimes use Photoshop as well. Mostly Illustrator, like 99%. And all you have to do is upload your designs into Printful. And Printful will not only produce the shirts once something is ordered, but they will also ship it directly to the consumer and it's basically like on demand. So the great thing about Printful as well is that it links directly to Shopify. So all I had to do was basically download a uh, Printful app into my Shopify, totally integrated, took me about 10 minutes or less, and now everything I do, I upload into Printful and it automatically gets synced over to my Shopify website and then that's it. Then somebody, when they order on my website, it goes through Printful. Printful takes their cut to not only print the shirt, produce the shirt, ship the shirt, all of that good stuff. And then all they do is Printful sends me directly the profit. So it's a win, 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 win for me because I just need to focus on marketing. I just need to focus on designing and I just need to focus on the future. And they basically take care of everything else. They even take the returns. So basically, if you get a shipment from Digital Nomad Apparel, it's going to have a California address. And that's actually Printful's address. So if you were to ever to return anything, it goes right back to Printful. And I literally don't have to deal with inventory stock or any of it. So for me, for a starting out business, if you're looking to start your own business, I totally recommend it. Um, I'm using it as a testing the model type of situation. So if I come out with a shirt and it decides not to do very well, no one wants it, no one buys it, didn't cost me a damn thing. All it took was a little time for me to create the design and upload it, that was it. If the shirt decides to go off the charts and everybody wants it and I'm going through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shirts, then that's the point where I'm going to look into actually manufacturing and having stock and inventory because I will be able to get a better margin on my items, which makes me have bigger profit. So until that point, I'm going to continue to use Printful, and that is basically what I suggest. Shopify.com, get your website, get your domain name. Integrate Printful into it so that literally you just design, you upload, and they take care of the rest. Um, if you don't have a PayPal account, I totally suggest PayPal. That's what I'm using to, I guess, work with Printful. Um, and if you have... Adobe Illustrator, that's all you need. Just upload straight to that. If you are not graphically design inclined, if you don't know how to use Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop or any of that, then hire a graphic designer. That's what graphic designers are for, right? Um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to leave you guys with that because a lot of you were asking me about how it is that I was doing what I was doing. So I know a lot of you found value in that. Thank you for messaging me on my Instagram at The Fabulous Journey. I hear you. So I wanted to make this video for you guys. If you had missed the stories, because I know the Instagram stories are only like 24 hours, like a Snapchat. So I want to do this video for you guys and let you kind of know exactly how I did it. And I think I spent less than like two or three hundred dollars. It really wasn't much, you guys. Um, the most expensive thing that I've done thus far is filing for my trademark and that cost a whopping 500 bucks but my website and having all my designs and shirts and everything up there cost me nothing um well the website's like 30 dollars a month and that's to process credit cards and things so that's about all i spend guys it's pretty easy it's pretty simple um anybody can really do it you just have you have just have to have a good idea good designs and good people to sell to so I'm going to end with that. Steven, show them the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribed, liked, shared, comment. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.